here and here and voila we have here the Raspberry Pi hi I'm Nick, co-founder of DeepSea Developments, and in this video we're going to do the unboxing of the Raspberry Pi 5. We're also going to tell you how we get early access to this, as we are now design partners for Raspberry Pi, and we were invited to their design partner event in Cambridge in the UK. Very nice experience. And I'm going to tell you my opinion about the Raspberry Pi 5, about in general Raspberry Pi, and how we can do the projects together with this. Okay, here we have it. It's the Raspberry Pi 5 in a box seal. We're going to do the unboxing here. So this is the 8 gigabyte RAM version. Mm, Raspberry Pi 5. It's made on the UK, assembled, assembled there um, by Sony. That's interesting fact. And here we have the spec. So let's take a look. So we have a 64-bit quad-core Cortex A72 76 processor, 8 gigabyte of RAM, 2 micro HDMI ports, being able to stream 2 ports, uh, 4K 60 frames per second. It has 2 USB 3 ports, 2 USB 2 ports. It has 2 4 lane connectors for camera or display, so it can be used for both. Mm, gigabit Ethernet port, uh, Wi Fi, Bluetooth power over Ethernet capable. This is also an interesting one, PCIe or Express expansion connector. In the Raspberry Pi 4 it had it but just in the compute module, not in the uh, these kind of versions. So you can, you're gonna be able to connect things like um, SSD uh, using PCI Express or other devices, so that's pretty neat. And another thing that is very interesting, it's a way of getting all the performance. They built a custom connector, 5 volts, 5 amps, USB-C. You can use a regular power source, but if you want to take all the advantage of the Raspberry Pi 5, you have to use their power source that it's built to deliver all the possible power. Mm, we have a couple of other disclaimers, things here. Okay, so let's do the unboxing. So let's open it. There you go. Here and here and Voila, we have here the Raspberry Pi. I think there's nothing else in the box, so oh yeah, there's the small manual required. So um what's the first one? Like read the manual, I guess. <laughs> Handle carefully, so don't put your fingers on top of it, but on the sides of it, I guess careful with the uh, I don't know temperature I guess this could be better in terms of <laughs> understanding what is each thing okay and the manual that's mandatory for the certification which certification this one the the C certification and the UKCA certification require uh, always to have a manual in different languages. Uh, okay, let's get to the good part. So, Raspberry Pi 5, I guess we can look it up like this. Two HDMI ports. It has a dedicated uh, UR port. So you don't have to mess around if uh, with the pins, whether or not they are outputting the serial or not. So there you go. Um, those are the two connectors for the cameras or the display. We have here this chip. It's the Southbridge chip, if I'm not wrong. And what it does is it takes all the GPIO interface 
away from the main processor. And that's a chip made by Raspberry Pi. So they have all the controls on these, on the camera connector. So there has been a lot of upgrades because now they have the capabilities of controlling that directly. This connector here, it's for the fan. I don't have the enclosure, but the enclosure have a, a fan that it's not only on all the time, it's controlled by the processor. So if it's getting hot, then it will automatically turn on the, um, the fan. So that's, that's neat. What else do we have here? Uh, USB-C port, um, the USB 2 and 3 versions, Ethernet, the GPIO, this should be the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth module. This is the PCI Express port, so this allows to have uh, new possibilities of doing things, so that's, that's neat. And another thing that is new, it's the button, so you can turn it on, turn it off, turn it on, turn it off. <laughs> we can see here power over Ethernet, and this for a battery. Oh, that's another thing that it that they add. The possibility of um, RTC, a real-time clock battery. So if you put it there, if you unplug the Raspberry Pi, then you will be able to have a correct uh, time on your system. So another neat thing. Let's see on the back. One of the things that they optimize is the manufacturing process. So they tell us a little bit about it. Mm, being able to have these connectors not getting out of the board, but uh, more flush. But then um, they had to add a couple of these things, I think is this and this in order to protect the capacitors and all the components, it's like, like uh, metallic feet. Okay, so now let's put a Raspberry Pi 4 side by side to see what's going on. So the first main difference that we can see is the location of the Ethernet port. It's the other way around. We can see the, that here we have a display and here we have a camera. Uh, we have camera or display one, camera or display two. One other thing to mention is that the audio is gone, so you will not be able to connect the audio directly to the Raspberry Pi. Those are the compromise that they had to do. The power over Ethernet moved from here to here, so shift all the way here. We have the HDMI ports, two of them. This stay the same. Of course, the button, it's new. And I think that's in terms of visuals, pretty much it. So here we can see a little bit the difference about the pins going out versus this one. And the reason behind the fact that we have access to the Raspberry Pi before a lot of people is that we in Deep State Developments entered the design partnership program by Raspberry Pi last year and we were invited to their partnership event in Cambridge in September and it was a very nice experience and I will tell you a little bit about it. I arrived to London in a Rolls Royce, or at least the motors. We were able to do a little bit of sightseeing in London before going to Cambridge we went to a graffiti tour where we saw a lot of things. We also got into a place where we saw a Banksy original and we got free art that was very nice. And we were able to fool around here and there, enter a table game cafe and play with the teammates. It was very, very interesting. Finally arrived to Cambridge where we start getting everything together to the presentation. We had to do a couple of things around the keychains that we brought and also all the electronics that we took to show. Then the event started. 
it was full of conference around many aspects of the Raspberry Pi. It was very interesting. We got the opportunity of having a stand and there was a lot of people. It was just one morning. We met a lot of design partners and authorized resellers. We got to see the CEO of Raspberry Pi. And then we got to see the actual Raspberry Pi 5 with the heatsink and the fan there. Also, they presented the design of the enclosure that they had. It is very interesting because you can have things like this, put shields on top of it without having to put it out from the case. And also you can stack the enclosures on top of them so you can have as many as you want, basically. And that was the event. They gave us also a little bit of swag that it's always appreciated. And now I'm going to give my take on Raspberry Pi 5. And in general terms, Raspberry Pi. I've seen a couple of videos where they say that there's not many difference between Raspberry Pi 4 and Raspberry Pi 5. It's a faster computer. But in general terms, it's interesting because they have allowed us to make a lot of things more with this form factor uh, instead of having to go to the compute module and work from there. So biggest takeaway, it's the PCI Express. Here you can start playing with things that are more sophisticated to enhance the system. So that's one of the interesting things. Two cameras, it, there is also something that is really uh, appreciated. And besides that, Raspberry Pi 5 is interesting. It's going to allow us to make proof of concepts or developments with more powerful algorithms inside in a faster way. But for me, one of the most interesting things is the future of the Raspberry Pi Silicon. It has several things that are very interesting. We have uh, the Pico now. We haven't been able to fully play with it. We're going to play with it. We're going to take some of our products and port it to the RP2040. But we have seen a couple of videos of people that have projects with the RP2040. Very powerful in terms of the control of the GPIO. So we are going to have more projects done with the Raspberry Pi Silicon. And that's everything that I have for you today. Thank you very much. We are going to have more videos about Raspberry Pi, about other microcontrollers, about fast prototyping, making your own IoT products, so stay tuned.